Hello children. Welcome to Happy Hippo Kids Academy. In today's video, we are going to learn about multiplication. So let's begin. I'm not crossed. I am a happy multiplication sign. I help you to multiply. Multiplication is one of the operations of mathematics. We use it when we have to add the same number many times. For example, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 8. Here, we are adding 2 many times. That is why multiplication is also called repeated addition. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 8. Here, 2 is being added 4 times. So, we can multiply 4 into 2 is equal to 8. We say it as times or into. We read the multiplication statement as 4 times 2 is equal to 8 or 4 into 2 is equal to 8. Usually, the first digit or number of the multiplication statement is called the multiplier. Here, 4 is the multiplier in this statement 4 into 2 is equal to 8. It is the number of times the multiplicand is multiplied. And 2 is the multiplicand, the number which is multiplied. The result of multiplication is 8, which is also called the product. Four into two is equal to eight also means there are four groups of two. Let us take an example of birds. One group of two birds, two groups of two birds, three groups of two birds and Four groups of two birds each make eight birds in all. Here, the number of groups represents the number of times we add the birds. Now we know multiplication is repeated addition. The number of times or groups a number is multiplied is called the multiplier. The number which is multiplied is the multiplicand and the result of multiplication is called product. Let us take another example of 7 into 5 equals 35. Here 7 is the multiplier, 5 is the multiplicand and 35 is the product. It also means that there are 7 groups of 5 each which means 35 in all. Now let us learn about vertical multiplication. Let us take an example you have three friends and you want to give each of them two lollipops each. How many lollipops do you need? The first friend has two lollipops. The second friend has two lollipops. And the third friend has two lollipops. Here we make three groups of two lollipops each which makes six lollipops in all. 
the multiplication statement can be written as 3 into 2 is equal to 6, which makes 3 groups of 2 lollipops each. Vertically, we represent it on a standing line. 3 into 2 is equal to 6. Now let us remember a few rules when we apply multiplication to any problem. We can change the order of the numbers to be multiplied, but the product remains the same. Let us take an example. 2 into 3 is equal to 6 and 3 into 2 also equals to 6. Both the multiplication statements have the same product. They can be represented in two different ways. 2 into 3 is equal to 6 can also be explained as two groups of 3 each. And 3 into 2 is equal to 6 can be explained as 3 groups of 2 each. In both the cases, we have the same product. When we multiply any number with 1, then we get the number itself. 2 into 1 is equal to 2 and 3 into 1 is equal to 3. Here, in both the cases, we are multiplying the multiplier with 1. So, we get the number itself. The third rule says, when we multiply any number with 0, we get 0 as the product. For example, 6 into 0 is equal to 0. And now it's time for an activity. Take a handful of buttons or pebbles. You may paint them to make them look bright. Pick up one digit numbers and multiply them with another one digit number. Arrange the numbers in groups of pebbles or buttons to find the product. For example, two groups of five make ten. You can learn the multiplication tables in a fun filled way. And remember, revise your tables every day. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe too. Bye-bye.